the building's skin plays important role for providing protection and privacy as well as drawing its boundaries. We're considered as a contact card for a building and its designer. Most countries are moving towards building on the surface of the water due to the climate change and rising water levels that most countries are currently experiencing. The project was chosen as a floating resort designed according to the sustainability building code of the selecting country, Australia. Where Australia has a beautiful sensory from coastal areas to green informed standard desert which makes it one of the most permanent countries that people want to visit for the purpose of tourism. Australia has several different climate zones. The northern section is tropical climate and the southern is warm temperate. The seasons are the opposite of this in northern hemisphere when it's summer in the north, it's winter south of the equator. The chosen site located in Port Arbit. On the corner of the Wolf Street and Bay Street is Memorial Park, which is one of the most important landmarks to the chosen site. Site topography is surrounded by residential building and entertainment places. Port Arbit's climate is classified as a warm and temperate. Based on climate consultant software, the highest temperature recorded in February were the lowest temperature in July. Port Arbit is one of Victoria's oldest seaports established in 1841. The sun is low in summer, higher in winter. The cold winds coming from the south while the hot wings coming from the north along with axis arrows. The design was inspired by two squares to present two floors, creating open space on the top with overlocks floor to create a mezzanine and to enhance natural ventilation. The smooth curves facing the south direction to minimize solar gain. For a floating structural system, floating builds was chosen, which considered to be the most suitable floating devices, where it's working based on Archimedes principle. The structure is about concrete filled with expanded polystyrene, which is advantage, safe to environment and lightweight. The comparison of the effectiveness of the building skins was chosen by examining three skins options which include mixture between opaque and transparency and combining them in different proportions and openings of different sizes in addition to diversity between the materials of a glass, play wood, fiber cement and tempercrete which is to test the skins models and materials to prove their effective role in building efficiency and energy performance. By using IES software, the base case of the six units were examined in different six angles in purpose to select the most suitable angle. selection of the most suitable unit angle based on solar gain by less solar gain in summer and high solar gain in winter. Also based on total energy consumption where the lowest energy consumption unit goes to unit 3 with angle 60 degree. 
moving to the three skins proposal comparing to the base case. As the results showed, Skin A reduced the cooling load from 16.7 MW per hour to 7 MW per hour, while Skin B reduced the cooling load to 3 MW per hour, which is more reduction than Skin A. Skin C achieved the lowest result of cooling load, which combination of double glassed skin and timber cleat. The highest results were analyzed in summer season of the base case. Skin A reduced the aluminum lux while still high lux near openings. In skin B case, the lux in summer reduced, but not much as a skin A, where still high lux in summer. As a result of total energy consumption during the whole year, the skin C achieved the highest reduction among the three skins, especially in January and July. By balancing between opaque facade and transparency, skin C recorded the highest reduction in cooling load. The base case daylight factor crossing the ASHRAE visual comfort range, which is between 2 to 5 percent, all this can see within the range along with aluminum lux range between 150 to 500 lux. By switching off the HVAC system in summer, the base case not reaching 0.1 meter per second, while Skin C achieved the recommended range given by Ashra in the Green Star Assessment, which is among 0.15 meter per second and 0.25 meter per second. To conclude the analysis, the psychometric chart for the skin C shows the achieving of the thermal comfort zone. The wind turbine produces large amount of renewable energy, especially on the sea, while no obstacles in the middle of the sea, reaching a high and more constant speed. The renewable energy was generated by wind turbine and the energy consumption was completely covered. Using a green star credit for indoor air quality, thermal comfort, visual comfort and reduction of electricity, the project scored 11 points which is rate 1 star.